breezes pine, our breezy pine swift, that renders hearts that love thee all unmeet. For this rude world, its trouble and its care, loading the heart with joys it cannot bear. That warms and chills and burns and bursts at last, or broken hopes and troubles never past. I pay thee worship at a rustic shrine, and dream or joys I still imagine mine. I pick up flowers and pebbles, and by thee as gems and jewels they appear to me. I pick out pictures round the fields that lie in my mind's heart, like things that cannot die. Like picking hopes and making friends with all, yet glass will often bear a harder fall. As bursting as bottles loose the precious wine, hope's casket breaks, and I the gems resign. Pain shadows on till feelings self decays, and all such pleasures leave me is their praise. And thus each fairy vision melts away like evening landscapes in the face of day, till hope returns with April's dewy rain, and then I start and seek for joys again, and pick her fragments up to herd anew, like fancy riches pleasure loves to view, and these associations of the past, like summer pictures in a winter glass. Renews my heart to feelings as the rain falls on the earth and bids it thrive again. And in the fallow fields appear so fair, the very weeds make sweetest gardens there, and summer there puts garments on so gay. I hate the plough that comes to disarray her holiday delights. And labor's toil seems vulgar curses on the sunny soil, and man the only object that distrains earth's garden into deserts for his gains. Leave him his schemes of gain, tis wealth to me, wild heaths to trace, and note their broken tree, which lightning shivered in which nature tries to keep alive for poesy to prize. Upon whose mossy roots my leisure sits to hear the birds pipe o'er their amorous fits. Though less beloved for singing than the taste, they have to choose such homes upon the waste. Rich architects, and then the spots to see picturesque their dwellings make them be. The wild romances of the poet's mind no sweeter pictures for their tales can find. And so I glad my heart and rove along, now finding nests, then listening to a song, then drinking fragrance whose perfuming cheats tinges life's sours and bitters into sweets, that heart stirred fragrance, when the summer's rain lays the road dust and sprouts the grass again, filling the cracks up on the beaten paths, and breathing incense from the mower's swaths. Incense the bars and prophets of old days met in the wilderness to glad their praise. And in these summer walks, I seem to feel these Bible pictures in their essence steal around me. And the ancientness of joy, breath from the woods till pleasures even cloy, yet holy breathing manna seemly falls with angel answers if a trouble calls. And then I walk and swing my stick for joy and catch a little pictures passing by 
a gate whose posts are two old darling trees, a close with molehills sprinkled o'er its leaves, a little footprint with its crossing rail, a wood gap stopped with ivy wreathing pale, a crooked stile, each path crossed spinny ooms, a brooklet forded by its stepping stones, a wood bank mined with rabbit holes, and then an old oak leaning o'er a badger's den, whose cave mouth enters neath the twisted charms of its old roots and keeps it safe from harms. Pickaxes, spades, and all its strength confounds when hunted foxes hide from chasing hounds. And then comes the meadows, where I love to see the flood-washed bank support an aged tree whose roots are bare. Yet some with foothold good crankle and spread and strike beneath the flood Yet still it leans a safer hold to win on t'other side and seems as tumbling in while every summer finds its green and gay and winter leaves it safe as did the May nor does the moorhen find its safety vain for on its roots there last year's homes remain and once again a couple from the brood seek their old birthplace and in safety's mood lodge there their flags and lay no danger comes it dares and tries and cannot reach their homes and so they hatch their eggs and sweetly dream on the shelf nest that bridge the gulfy stream and so the sooty brood from fear elopes where bulrush forests give them sweeter hopes. Their hanging nest that aids their wishes well, each leaves for water as it leaves the shell. And dive and dare and every gamble try to lay themselves to other seas.